Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about new YSL The Bold Lipstick. They are so nice, so nice. I will talk about the colors formulation first and then you will see the full swatch and try on the lip. I got three colors this time. They are 1971, number 10 and number 6. I love them all, which is very rare because often I will have a couple of colors that not totally sure about it, but this time, oh my God, YSL did a great job. Let's start from the packaging. Again, black and gold, a very classic design, will never, never go around. But to be honest, this time when I first time I opened it, I personally felt the weight is a little bit light than I expected. Hence, when I opened the box, I felt a little bit plasticky. However, when I used it a few times, when I got used to it, I still feel it has details design in there. It's, it's a simple, straightforward, but very, very classic design. You wouldn't go wrong with it. And this time it is a standardized size in terms of the packaging lipstick. It's not the slim one, which they got before. And when you open, this is the inside. The lipstick is fairly standard and the way you twist it out, there is no covering, nothing else on that. Um, just so you know, YSL's lipstick always has a little bit of strong smell. It's a typical YSL smell. Regardless which lipstick you buy from them, they always have this smell. So if you do mind smells on lipstick, you may want to smell YSL first to ensure it doesn't bother you. For me, it's okay. It's a little bit strong when you apply it, but it does find out once you complete it. The formulation this time is cream finish. So it's not overly glossy, neither matte. It's stronger reflection than satin. So it's a stronger reflecting than your normal lip skin, which is a very, very high class reflection. Let me zoom you in. Have a look at the details. This formulation does not emphasize the lip lines. Instead, it actually smooths out visually quite well. It's very lightweight. It don't feel heavy at all and it's not sticky. But you do feel you have a like thick lip balm that applied on the lip. It doesn't cause discomfort, but you still can feel there is something on your lip. This time, as the name is called The Bold, it is a very, very strong pigment, which is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I would do the uh, three colors together so you can see the difference from top to bottom. Top one is 1971. In the middle is 06, and the bottom one is number 10. Look at the pigment. It covers my own lip color 100%, 100%, which is really, really friendly for kind of everyone, whether you have lighter lip color yourself or slightly darker color, this one can fully cover it. It doesn't cause the, you know, unevenness, you know, patchy, different color shades, doesn't cause those awkwardness on your lip, which is wonderful. And YSL's lipstick quality this time, Thumb up, absolutely thumb up. I love all three colors. When you compare this two, slightly stronger color, it all has level of brown in here, but this one in the middle, which is a number six, 
it is a slightly stronger brown in there, so it's like a typical brown red. The top one, 1971, is more towards like a dark berry color. This is number 10, which is on my lip. It is more towards strong coral plus petal color. None of this color are nude color per se. They are much more stronger personality behind it. But just within this three colors, uh, this color number 10, which is uh, in comparison a more subtle personality. It would suit more people in a way. Uh, the other two, some of you may feel is a little bit too strong or too powerful. Personally, I love all three of them. This one is number 10. Look at the whole makeup itself. It makes you look very, very gentle, very soft, very lady, and very, how to say, I would describe it as like very five star like. <laughs> um, so it's like you would go for a very luxury afternoon tea in a five star hotel. Then you wear some lipstick like this. It's just so elegant, so nice. The other two, the top one, 1971, which is a signature color in this collection itself. It is so powerful. I think this time they made this dark berry color so well. It doesn't turn to a complete like cool tone. It still has good amount of brown in there. If I didn't compare with number six, I would describe this as like more brown red. But the one compared with number six, I do feel this more has a stronger berry color behind it. Because it still has brown, little bit of brown color in there, therefore made this color's personality become like very, very powerful, strong, independent woman style. It's not only about to go to five star, it's like you can control the world. That power is, when you wear this color, you do feel there is a something behind you to, to just support you, sit there and just full confidence on. Very, very powerful color. It is so elegant, it especially goes with black dress. You go for the events, ladies, I'm telling you, it's a must-have color if you do have a lot of special occasions or special events to attend. 1971, it's a must-have. <laughs> 06, the middle color, which you guys will see the swatches and the try on later on. 06, because it has a slightly more level of brown in there, therefore, it's not only about give you the energy, it's also bring your whole style, become like a elegant, more towards mature like. This matureness is not linked with age. This matureness is to reflecting the knowledge, the confidence you have, and really bring these things from inside out to present on your lip. 06. It's so beautiful. All these three colors are just to die for. <laughs> and I really, really like this formulation. Uh, by the way, because it's a cream finish, so it doesn't last as long as their matte finish lipstick, especially the, the slimmer black, that one. Um, this one does transfer. See? But, let me get closer. There has no impact on here. If you're just talking, drinking waters, eating snacks, there is no much impact on this. You don't really have to like retouch every hour. I would suggest that you only retouch it when you have a meal really. Another great thing about this formulation is so easy to be removed. There is no strong tint behind this formulation. It's also full season wearable. Look at now it's the summertime. I'm wearing like short sleeves. It's like a black little casual dress. It looks pretty. It looks so elegant and so lady. Uh, can you imagine this two color would also be the color to have for winter and autumn time? So why I sell this time, this one, the lipstick, 
the bold collection. Oh my god, is <laughs> is absolutely a winner. So I know you guys can't wait and let's see these swatches and the try on. So, what do you think? What do you think? Would you not give a thumb up? Also, this time I need to say the color swatches on their website when they present individual colors, they are very close to the real world color that when you apply on the lip. I think it's also because of the high pigment. When it's a high pigment, it doesn't get too much impact by your own lip colors. Therefore, when you swipe on the lip and the model taking pictures, the color would show its own rather than being merged with the model's own lip color. Let's put it that way. So I find this time is very much matching the color that's showing on their website. So less misleading per se, which is very helpful for people like us. So hope today's video somehow helped you. If you find it useful, please give a thumb up and most importantly to subscribe my channel. I will see you on my next video.